Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back and welcome to the garage. I think this is the first time I've shown the garage on the channel here, so ooh, how special exciting. Anyway, we're not going to be spending too much time inside of the garage right now in this moment um, because we are finally going to be decorating the outside of our house here. And I am so excited about this. If you've been following the channel, been watching the channel for a little while now, you know that for one thing, we have a new house, which we are very excited about. And for another thing, we have been collect we have been collecting Halloween decor specifically for the outside of the house all season long. It's something that I've mentioned, I'm pretty sure in like every single video, like how excited I am because I get to shop for outdoor Halloween decor. And um, we have a few pieces here. Uh, we have a few pieces here. So I'm, I'm excited about it. I decided to take you all along with me on this process of how we're gonna decorate. Um, and yeah, just have a good time decorating the house for Halloween. So thank you so much for clicking on the video. Happy Halloween, everybody. Let's get decorating and let's go. So I have compiled everything into this little section in here. This is all of the outdoor Halloween decor that I believe we bought this year. And I say that because who knows at this point, it's, it's, it's all been placed in like various locations, which was not very smart of me. Um, so I think I collected up everything that we bought. But yeah, we, so you can see the spooky mingos in there. Those were the first Halloween decor item that we bought this year, 2023. There's the other zombie flamingos in there as well. There's a few things in here that Tampa J picked up for me. Here's the ghosties that we got from Target, the metal sign that we got from at home just a couple of days ago. So we have, we have a bunch of things in here. It's kind of a random hodgepodge of Halloween decor. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty dang excited about it. Additionally, my fiance Tampa J is here to help as I'm well. Home. We've been very excited for garage. this moment, haven't we? Yeah, that's what I said earlier. Welcome to I've the I've been wanting to do this for the longest time. It's been years since I've had a place to do this and I've never been so excited in my life to decorate because I can do it with Queen Halloween. Very excited. I'm excited too. And I think we have decided to start with the spooky mingos. Zombie flamingos. I have to say this is the thing that I'm the most excited about. The thing that I've been wanting to put out since the second we purchased them all those weeks ago. Do you remember where you got it? These came from World Market. That's and right. then those spooky mingos came from old time pottery. I just noticed these are made in the USA. They sure are. So Jay is putting to get oop. So Jay is putting together the spooky mingo. It's been a pretty easy process, right? Yeah, you just stick the uh, rods right in the bottom. Right up the butt. There you go. Well, not quite up the butt. Well, there is actually a spot up the butt. There the is a spot up the butt, which, which is threw me off. I actually, interesting. I actually shoved it up that way oh, at gosh. first, and oh, it was too loose. Oh no! And then I realized they go here. I see. Uh, let's move TMI. on. All right, so we decided to put the spooky mingos in like this section in here because it's kind of a nice little among the mulch know, yeah a little little uh before the palm enclosed area here so when tampa j mows the lawn they won't get in the way flamingo oh i don't think that's how that goes there we go it goes in there nice though there we go right there that looks what does good that look? looks good yeah i like it all right flamingo madness Okay. Yeah, let's see. You get the camera right here. There you go. Yeah, looking good. Oh looking yeah. Good. Got two more flamingos to put in there. There you go. Here's a little aerial view here for you. The spooky mingos hanging out by this little tree inside of this section in here. I think we might put the other flamingos in a different spot just to kind of spread them out a bit. These are the spooky mingos. Uh -huh. It says uh, ghoulish fun since the 50s. These are the traditional ones made by the company. That is always made. The flamingos. The flamingos. Also, mm -hmm. I notice it says model G8. Makes me think of a movie. Dirty work. 
You okay. just hit G8. Someone will get that. We're going to put the other two spooky mingos in this section here. So we got a group of mingos here, Love and then mingo. just beyond it, right behind it, is going to be the zombie flamingos. So we kind of, like, I stood back on the sidewalk. Tampa J was moving the flamingos around. We were trying to decide if they should be split up, if we should put all the mingos together, um, if we should put them across the lawn. And I think we kind of decided, at least for the time being, this might be the best option. We certainly don't want the mingos to get uh, run over by the lawn mowers. Tampa J mows the lawn, but we also have the HOA that mows the lawn right next door to us too. So we gotta be careful of our of our Halloween decor. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Into the ground. So you can see the ones in the background on the top left corner there, and then the mingos up in the front. I'm so excited. They're so adorable. Oh, bingo. I love he them. Oh no. Oh, oh no. He is dead. Oh no. Let me give you a hand there. Or a leg. I've always wanted flamingos in my front yard. There we go. Zombie. So this is something that Jay picked up a couple days ago from Walmart. And it's one of those climbing zombie guys. You can hang on the side of your garage. And yeah, we have a garage now, so... Yep. Figured this was the time. We saw these everywhere. They were cheapest at Walmart. They sure were. Look at there. So he's got little hooks on his hands yeah. that you can just slip. I might. Into the side of the wall there. I might have a staple gun. Okay. I might do that. While Tampa J secures their zombie friend a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and grab the skelly hands here. And uh, I think I'm going to stick them in the ground next to the zombie flamingos. What do you think? Sounds good. Okay. So I'll pull these out here. I do not for the life of me remember where we got these things. But they're, I mean, they are literally like everywhere, like every store. We got them a long time ago. Let's just say that. Okay. And they already have a steak on them so we should just be able to shove them right into the ground it should be pretty easy peasy and i was kind of thinking since we have a zombie theme kind of going here that this would work out well he's kind of like reaching for the for the flamingos there like tampa j would be doing let's see how are real hands i did this wrong we got it Turn around, turn around. There we go. Okay, now it's realistic. Ha ha ha. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's cute. I like that. It's classic. Classic Halloween. Let's kind of cover that up a little bit. There we go. And it's coming right along. Look how cute that is. This is the zombie area. Now if we could just get a, one of those zombie gnomes. Actually, I have a zombie gnome. I'll, I'll put him out here. There we go. He's not the biggest guy in the world, but he sure is cute. I got him quite a while ago at like Dollar Tree or Dollar General or something along those lines. But he sure is cute and he's very fitting with the zombie flamingos. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, ghosty package here. So we got this the other day at Target and I have very much been anticipating this moment. Probably should have brought some scissors. There we go. Let's open her up and finally see what we have to work with. So we've got a big, bigger ghost here made out of plastic we have this guy and it looks like you can hang this one up and I think you could put a little thing in his uh, in his behind quarters here too so we'll see if they have a stake for him um, and then yeah this guy here which I do believe is a hanging ghost so we're gonna put him in the tree hang him up We got a little hanging ghost guy. 
and then the little ghost fork in here that also evidently could be hung up. I did not, now the photo on here shows them all in the ground. So I didn't know that it was a possibility that they could all be hung up, which I think is really cool. Gives us a lot more versatility, something to keep in mind. But yeah, I think these can uh, evidently go either way, which is not a bad thing. Here are the stakes for the ghosts, and then we have the spider web and spiders that are included in here too. So I already think that I'm going to be basic because I've had this vision in my brain ever since I bought these things of how we were going to how we're gonna use them. So I, I do think that I am gonna go ahead and stake these plastic ones into the ground and then hang up these ones in the tree right in front of us here. So originally what I was thinking was having this section in here be kind of like a ghosts on parade, ghosty parade sort of uh, theme, I guess, for very much lack of a better word. But now we have the flamingos in here. We have the flamingos over in there so i'm thinking maybe to split them up but i'm gonna go ahead and put some of these ghosts around here in this little island and uh we'll, we'll start with that and then we'll go from there all right i do apologize for the stupid angle but it is so hard to film this and not film too much and like my the back of my cars and all that stuff so i don't know we'll do the best that we can i think i'm just gonna stick him right in the ground right in the middle here and then we'll kind of go from there okay maybe you gotta go further back here we go that's better that's better okay all right let's take a look at that okay that is adorable i like that now i think i'm gonna put the bigger the bigger ghost guy one in the back here how does that look what do we think? Oh, it's awesome. Oh, you can't see anything on the camera. Good. Okay, what do we think? Ooh, I like it. They are super dang cute. I like it. I like the bigger ghost and then the little ghost. I like the mingos in there. I think it's looking pretty good. All right, we're switching up the orange switching flamingo the here. So he's, he's facing this way. You kind of get a better angle of him from <laughs> the front in here. Yeah, I think... I think that looks better. And we can fill the space up in the in the front here with another ghost. It's also just the right time of day for my shadow to be totally in the way of everything. But what do we think? I think it's super cute. Now we just gotta put some ghosts in the tree to make it a little bit more complete. So I'm thinking this branch, just put them right on top. Try not to scare the birds too much. Here we go. All right, we're hanging up the uh, the second ghost now. And I'm kind of thinking as we're doing this, maybe I might want to grab a few more ghosts to hang in this tree. So it's like a true like ghost parade, lots of ghosts flying around the tree and the, the flamingos down here. So I might be on the lookout for some more ghosts to put in the tree. Okay, I think this is the best shot I can get for you all. It looks pretty cute. I like it. Two ghosts, three ghosts on the bottom, and two more to go. And two mingos at the bottom too, yeah. And then we oh, have right two right. Uh, <laughs> more little uh, ghosts that we can stick into the ground. I think we'll try putting them by the uh, by the zombie flamingos. Good idea. There we go. Put uh, one ghost on either side of the little spooky diorama that we got going on here. I think it's really cute. I think it's really coming together. I, I like it a lot. It's adorable. Basically this year, since once again, it is the first time we have had an outdoor space to decorate with, I don't really have like necessarily a theme going or anything like that. I think that this will be really fun to do the following years and like have a theme in mind, like a specific theme, a specific goal of like what outdoor decorations we want to look for. Um, so I'll probably do that going forward because I, I like that. I like having a goal, a theme. We're going to be talking about that a lot in the next few videos here. Trust me. But, um, anyway, this kind of overall theme sort of thing that I'm, 
I guess we've sort of gotten towards it's just kind of classic Halloween, classic just... lawn Halloween, because we have the flamingos, we have the you know little plastic ghosts and all of that stuff. It's just you know it's as Halloween as you basically can get, and it's pretty adorable too. Like it's it's a cutesy kind of yeah. lawn Halloween We're sort of thing. We're just ghouling for it. Exactly. Yeah. Just going for so it. So next Having year, fun. next year we'll do something. We'll do something a little bit more next year, I promise. This is kind of like a trial run for it all. And Tampa J did succeed in getting the zombie hanging up on the garage wall here. So what did you do? Oh, I just took a, a U-nail. Basically like a uh, barbed wire fence nail. Uh-huh. Just stuck it in between there and it's got a wire on the hand. So I just looped it around the loop. Nice. Yep. Yeah, because it wasn't sticking the best up at the top. Like yeah, a wind or... It. Probably even closing and opening the garage door would probably make him fall. Yep. So we made sure he was nice and Nailed fastened. Him. Yeah. Looks cool. Looks creepy. I think that's going to spook me out every time I open up the garage and like pull up to the house. So I went back and revisited the uh, spider web situation because the, uh, the pack comes with a thing of spider web and some spiders here. Which, by the way, is very substantial. I did not think that this was going to be a big thing of uh, spider webs, but hey, it is. It's very big, especially when you start stretching it out, which I was doing. Um, and I kind of got to thinking, like, I already was not sure how I felt about putting spider webs outside. I've, again, I've never done that before. Is this even environmentally, like, okay? Like, is this okay for the environment? I don't know. Additionally, like, how is this going to hold up in the rain? It rains a lot here in Florida. Some concern about that. I might hold off on this for the time being until I kind of think about it that a little bit, a little bit, do a little research on it. Because I, I literally have no idea and the thought only just now occurred to me as I was about to kind of put the spider web sort of across the ghosts and like up on the tree, but I don't want like birds taking this away and like making nests with it. And if it's not, I, I don't know, like, I don't know. My mind just went through a thousand different scenarios. And so let me know in the comments below, how do, what do you do? Do what do you know about spider web decor for the outside? Curious minds need to know. Um, but I'm not too mad about it because I, I like how this looks anyway. It looks very clean. And um, sometimes when you put a lot of spider webs on it, at least in my experience, it gets a little bit muddy looking. Um, so I'm not, I'm not too angry about this. I might invest in one of those big rope spider webs that we've seen as opposed to, as opposed to this kind. Um, so stay tuned for that as well. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is bust out these guys. So we got these from Home Depot. Home Depot? Yeah, Home Depot. Uh, we've been looking for pathway lights basically the entire season. Um, again, if you've been watching the channel, then you know. And these were the best ones that we found because, at least for us, for our taste, um, because we bought them, obviously. So here we are. So we're gonna unbox these and uh, see what we're dealing with here. So they're not solar powered or anything, which is unfortunate, but we will soldier on. So they've already got batteries. Oh, it has batteries already. How about yeah, that? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Hooray. All of these are attached together and they have to stay attached together. So keep that in mind. They can't go too far away. Right, so this is fun. So we spread them all out and the, this is the middle pumpkin for sure. You can see the wire up in here and then this one goes this way but look this face is faced this way and the face on that one is faced the opposite way if all of that makes sense basically the wire wasn't put in here correctly so so that's it depends fun. on how ambitious we want to get uh -huh. but i could probably take that apart um and re and re uh do it but who who knows with this stuff how yeah hard it will probably to be probably not yeah. Actually, you have to do, you have to take all these out. Yeah. Like, nah, let's not do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, this just got interesting. Yeah. We're pivoting. These we are, uh, decided to put them over in this section here because they're not going to look good 
as pathway lights. The the wires are too short. You gotta buy a lot of these. You'd have to buy a, a butt ton of them unless you don't have a huge uh, sidewalk, but we have a, a lot of sidewalk good. space. So Ooh, it would each? not look Three good five. where we were envisioning them. So, womp womp. <laughs> Oh boy, but we decided to go ahead and put them in front of our little ghost display in here and you know what that looks adorable and it kind of works out too because we really need this section to have a light so I think that this is actually going to work out really well and solves a lighting problem for this section in particular. Okay, what do we think? It's cute, huh? I really like it. We'll come out here at nighttime too. I'll do some nighttime shots for you all so you can see what it looks like. Uh, they we did turn them on. You can kind of see them glowing in there. I think it's gonna it's gonna look so cool at night. They are really awesome. They they're definitely awesome, but I don't know if I could recommend them as pathway lights, the way that they were intended to be. Um, but yeah, they're cute. I I like this little setup. Nice little classic Halloween lawn decor set up and then we absolutely need some more ghosts for the tree as well so future chris please keep this in mind when you're out halloween shopping we gotta get more ghosties for this tree so we have a nice little ghost parade going on over here so the kind of the last thing that we have here is my three witch hats uh, that you just simply stick into the ground. So I'm thinking to put them right here behind the zombie flamingos and we'll take a look at that and see what it looks like. Okay, that's pretty cute. I do like it. I just wonder if it fits with the vibe that we have going on here with like our zombie graveyard sort of deal. I think maybe the witch hats are a, are a little they might be a little out of place, which was what I was kind of thinking. The witch hats may go somewhere random. All right, my parents are heading out now and they're gonna check out the decor that we have up so far. We'll get their opinions on it all. What do you think? That's wonderful, I love the ghosts. Yeah, they're cute, huh? Oh, they are, they're adorable. They glow in the wind. Yeah. Yeah, that's obviously fantastic. Oh, you finally got your flamingos out? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, I love Spooky the bingo. Yep. And we have closed the garage so we could see what it looks like with the garage door closed. And it looks very, very creepy. Yeah, that's probably going to freak me out every time I pull up and every time I exit out of the garage. And I've been taking different angles and looks at the house and the yard decor and whatnot. We went all the way back at the end of the street, all the way up the sidewalk, looked at it from all different views. And it's pretty dang adorable. I, I wish that I could give you all a better view of it. Um, it's just so hard. So hard with all of our cars in the driveway and and all, you know, all that good stuff that I've been saying for, for a little bit here. But um, it looks really cute. It looks really cute. I'm very happy with it. Very classic Halloween. Tampa J also put a spotlight on our zombie flamingos over in here so we'll see what that looks like when it gets a bit more dark out too and we have our haunted mansion hitchhiking ghost projector light which we got from lowe's what seems like a very very long time ago and i'm very excited to see what this is going to look like we decided to put it on the side of the house because there's this nice huge wall. blank wall here and there's always cars parked in front of the house so you wouldn't see it on the garage so i think that this is going to be the best spot for it oh yeah bella's here too bella approved so we're gonna wait until it gets a little bit darker out and then i can show you what it looks like with uh, the lights going and when it's dark out and all of that good stuff the projector which we did try out after we bought it and it looks really cool so i'm very excited to show you what that looks like on this wall here um you know all of this decor First of all, once again, I did not come in this year with a plan for how to decorate the outside of my home. No plan, just thought I would pick up one or two things and call it a day. I didn't think that we would pick up so much stuff that it would almost warrant a whole video, but here we are. Um, so it's, you know, it's not the most, it's not like super, super extra. It's not all of the Halloween. There's no specific theme going on here. It's just kind of, 
the random things that I picked up that I thought were adorable and cute and that I liked and just kind of slapping them into our front lawn. <laughs> and um, you know what, it's adorable. I, I really, really like it. it. Like I said, it's very classic Halloween. It's, it's minimalistic. It's pretty simple. Like this did not take long to do at all in the grand scheme of things. It only took long because I'm filming and I wanted to show you the process. Otherwise this would have took us, I don't know, 15 minutes um, in total. So it's just sticking stuff into the ground. So the kind of the point that I'm trying to make here is you don't have to do the most for Halloween decorating or any holiday decorating for that matter. Um, just grab a few pieces that you really like, put it out, and it makes all the difference in the world. It really, really does. And I think any people that are happen to be driving down the street, they're going to see the decor. It's going to make them happy, and I would think. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's just one of those things. It's just fun, fun to do, fun to, to make your home a little bit more festive, a little bit more spooky. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. So what I'll probably do is, I think I'm gonna grab another pack of ghosts from Target if we can find them or something similar or something to add a little bit more to the outside. Um, if I can't find anything, I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about it because honestly, like the next, all the way up until November 1st, we are as busy as possible. So if it, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It is what it is. It looks adorable, it doesn't matter. Um, but if I can, I might grab another pack of ghosts and maybe like a extra like one or two something something. And um, I'll post pictures on social media if you wanna keep up with it or I'll stick it at the end of a video or, or something like that if you wanna see the process of of what we're doing here so anyway very happy with this we have a home it is decorated for halloween and i'm very very excited about that i think it's really really adorable and i'm already excited for next year and we're gonna have to come up with a really cool theme and come up find all the halloween decor for it i'm i'm excited for this to be a continuous project and by the way this video is coffee and or water is thanks to raised on florida sunshine thank you so much for supporting the channel really hope you enjoy this one cheers happy halloween okay darkness has fallen across the land and check it out here is the hitchhiking ghost the haunted mansion projector that we got from lowe's isn't that awesome it like changes colors and moves around, it is so cool. And here's our little zombie set up in here too. Looks good, we have the spotlight going on it. And I think it's giving it just enough light so people can see it when they drive by during the, during the nighttime. And look how awesome this looks. Those pathway lights are so dang cool. We had to pivot from our original idea, but I think it worked out even better it looks so awesome out here perfect lighting for this area and it's even a little windy outside so the ghosties are blowing in the wind yeah this is awesome it is adorable that's gonna do it for today's video i sure do appreciate you all watching thank you for clicking on the video this was a lot of fun and did you have fun? Do you like I didn't it? want to stop. I want to get more stuff. Yeah. We got a lot of yard. We're like, okay, we gotta we gotta get this, we gotta fill in this space with that. Like we have like all these ideas, all of these ideas, but I think what we have out there is basically what it's gonna be. Like realistically, we're both gonna be so incredibly busy the rest of the season. Uh, starting tomorrow. Yeah. Till it's... Halloween. It's all over. So it's good for our first year. Yeah, but this was a great I guess kind of learning experience and like I said so I think we're gonna be better prepared for next year and I'm already very excited about it so I hope that you all enjoyed the video please let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this sort of thing because we haven't done this before and uh, regardless of that we do have a lot of uh, decorating videos coming up here so stay tuned for all of that as well Lots more shopping, lots more Halloween, and a lot of other stuff in between as well. So thank you again for watching, and we will see you all very soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Halloween. Happy Halloween.